For many years, a lot of men didn't want to admit the fact that traditional women and marriage were dead, but I think men are starting to see the truth that it's over for traditionalism in the West. It's not even a debate at this particular point. XXs are pushing further and further into progressive ideology, where they are basically foot soldiers for agendas and political ideologies, and they could care less about building families and being traditional conservative wives. These women nowadays do not want to be good wives to their husbands and follow their lead. On the contrary, they actively push back marriage as a last resort until after they've had their fun throughout their teens and twenties to early thirties instead of trying to get married and start a stable family. These XXs want no part of that because having fun, living the good life and getting their wet vice grip ran through by the men they want is more important than a husband, and that's the harsh reality we as men have to come to terms with. See, XXs nowadays will choose to put everything before a good man, and we see this play out every day. I want you guys to have a long memory and remember that XXs were in these streets protesting for the right to early terminate their child than choosing to become somebody's wife. Women were also marching and protesting for more rights for the Reading Rainbow Coalition than learning to wash, cook, and clean for their husbands. XXs filed for divorce and dragged men through the family court system who didn't deserve it for financial gain and alleged freedom instead of staying married and honoring the wedding vows. These are just a few examples of what women have prioritized over a man for the past couple of years. And this is the reason why traditionalism has been slowly eroding in the West to the point where the majority of women are nowhere near traditional, and if they say they are, highly likely it's just a fin ass to get a man to commit. I hope you guys are starting to connect the dots with what I'm saying and begin to realize that we are at a point of no return. It has reached the point where men nowadays who want a traditional woman in marriage cannot find a woman to fulfill that role without having to fight the world to keep his family from being destroyed. I know it might sound like I'm reaching when I say the world, but if you stop and look at it in the West, there's barely any support for traditional families. Just look at how the system, meaning the courts, is designed to make it easy for women to decide to pull the plug on their marriages and choose to be a progressive 304. And at the same time, they incentivize the split up of the marriage because there is a monetary gain and incentive for the woman, judges, and lawyers to continue breaking up families. As long as the system doesn't promote or incentivize families to stay together, you can kiss traditional relationships goodbye. The court system is just one entity fighting to keep the cycle of marriage and divorce going, which makes it difficult for the average man to have a successful relationship or marriage with a woman. But you have to factor in the people around you in groups who also don't want to see men and women living in a traditional relationship. We all know the elites of the world do not want to see men and women together, and they have made great strides to ensure that there are systems put in place, especially in the West, to disincentivize and straight up make it hard for men and women to be traditional. They do this by using ideologies and groups to push a counter-narrative onto the people until there is a vocal minority or a majority of people who start to push an agenda that opposes traditional values. We see this play out with the womanism and the sexual liberation movement teaming up to fight against women staying in the home and being traditional wives to their husbands and kids. These two groups single-handedly influence generations of women to stop being feminine and what men want and are attracted to. Instead, they push them to take on more masculine roles, like going to work for their masters and relying on the government for support instead of depending on their husbands. Cheating and fornicating on their husbands with anybody they want to, putting off getting married and raising kids in their most fertile and prime selection years by sending them to chase their careers and live the good life and overall prioritize everything but getting a husband. This is how influential these agendas have been in destroying traditional values. Now we are at the point where most women in the West don't want to be traditional and they openly embrace womanism and womanist ideology over conventional values. Trust me, we didn't reach this point by accident. The people in the shadows who run and control this world planned and schemed for this to happen so they could tear down the family, divide the people and control the population. So don't think we have fewer marriages, more divorces, more broken homes, lost and unprotected kids and less traditional societal values because of a coincidence. People with an invested interest have planned and executed it to see it crumble to the ground. You know how you guys love to say let it burn? What do you think the people leading us down the path of destruction and degeneracy are saying? They want to see it burn to the ground so they can control people and lead us down a path that doesn't benefit us but benefits them. So always remember that when the smoke clears, we are effed. The next thing I want to talk about that is destroying traditionalism that men are starting to realize is the push for alternative lifestyles over traditional relationships. I won't stay long on this topic for obvious reasons, but if you realize that there's a push to get kids and young people to live alternative lifestyles more and more by the day. Online, there's a rise in the they-them and reading Rainbow Coalition now more than ever before.
As a result, Gen Z has the highest rate of mostly women and some men that are engaging in alternative lifestyles instead of what is normal or traditional. It's pretty sad that's where we are. If my projections are correct, the next generation will have even more people engaging in identity politics and alternative lifestyles, so you should expect a rise in the reading rainbow population in the West, if not the world. Now moving on, let's talk about the rise in mental health illness and why this makes it damn near impossible for traditional relationships. Based on common sense, you can't expect people who are mentally sick to keep healthy relationships. This should be obvious, but we don't think logically anymore in our society, so news like this will be shocking to most people. Gentlemen, it's almost impossible to have a lifetime relationship if one or both persons in the relationship are on head meds or suffer mentally. Just like how you see people in asylums that are gone and you don't expect them to have any meaningful relationships, the same thing applies to people, mostly ex-exes who are mainly affected, to be stable enough to be good partners in relationships. I wouldn't touch one of these people with a 10-foot pole and take the risk of committing to them seriously because they aren't right upstairs and putting my future in their palm is dumb. Furthermore, there's no cure if the person suffers from MI. The only solution available is therapy, which doesn't fix the problem permanently. Knowing that, do you still want to take on someone with this chink in their armor? I won't do it because I know I would be setting myself up for failure, and I think as time passes and more information is shared, more and more men will realize that modern XXs are not worth it because a growing percentage of them are gone. So to protect yourself from having to deal with unnecessary stress and BS, leave these people alone. That's the only solution because, like I said, MI has no cure, only treatments that seem to make it way worse for most people and the meds don't make it any better either. Whether or not you choose to believe me is up to you, but you are free to do your own research and decide whether you think messing with XXs that suffer from MI is worth it. What about social media and the influence it has on relationships? Are we going to deny that social media pushes progressivism over traditionalism? No, we cannot. People online swing me towards women's empowerment and sexual liberation more than they support traditionalism. This can be seen anywhere online where there are discussions of XXs being nasty 304s or relationship issues on all major social media platforms, so this is nothing new. Now, I don't particularly care about this because I don't expect anything better from these lemmings out here who can't think for themselves, if I'm being honest with you. Most people are just the blind leading the blind to the bottomless pit. So when you hear stuff like women should not wash, cook, clean or give their boyfriends and husbands anything that they find valuable, you should immediately know that they are just foot soldiers for the agendas. Ironically, women are the ones who are used to pushing these agendas onto people that break down traditional relationships and marriages even though they benefit greatly from traditionalism. Isn't that laughable? They are so naive that they would give up a favorable position because someone or something sold them a dream that cannot be proven to work out in their favor long term over what actually has been proven to work. So when you go online and random strangers and the people around you are fighting against traditional relationships, just understand that they are probably the deep, dumb and blind of society who are agents of these agendas that the elites and media push to tear down society. So I want you guys to understand that these are the things that influence people to move away from traditionalism and move towards progressivism. But when the chicken comes to roost and you hear the same set of people, primarily women complaining that men are not committing anymore and they can't get a man, don't feel sorry for them because, before that, they supported and participated in the destruction of traditional relationships. So gents, you can see that traditionalism is dead in the West and relationships are not worth it anymore, which tells you that ever since the elites created these agendas, they have been successful in doing what they plan to do. I didn't touch on religion, but it's obvious that the more we move away from God, the worse marriages, relationships and society have become. So if you are a lost man or need direction on what you should do regarding relationships, I recommend going your own way, monk mode, the free agent lifestyle, or getting your passport and going overseas. There is no benefit to getting married today for most men, especially in the West, so looking into different alternatives might be the best thing for men. On the screen is our season 5 videos that will teach you guys how important it is to stay single going forward. So click it right now to focus on what's truly important, which is your freedom.